This video has been created for level 2 chemistry, specifically for organic chemistry, focusing on the functional group alkanes. Now alkanes are all organic molecules which only contain carbon and hydrogen atoms. Between the carbon atoms you only have single bonds. If there are only single bonds between carbon atoms in an organic molecule, that makes that particular molecule saturated. So all alkanes are saturated. If we were to have a go at naming alkanes, the way we would do it is to look at each of our alkane molecules and look for their longest chain. In the first example, the longest chain is only one carbon atom long, so it starts with the prefix meth. In the second molecule, I've got two carbon atoms as my longest chain, so it's eth. Third one, three carbon atoms prop. Fourth one, bute. Now all alkanes end with the suffix ane, that's pronounced ane. So here my first one, I've got methane, ethane, propane, and butane. Another example, this time I've got seven carbon atoms as my longest chain, so I expect that to be hept, and since it still ends with ane, I expect the name of that molecule to be heptane. In another example, don't be fooled by any side groups, go for the longest chain. My longest chain is still seven carbon atoms long, so I expect this molecule to have the word heptane in there somewhere. Now this side group hanging off is called a methyl group, meth, because it's only one carbon atom long, and we add the letter YL to signify that it is a side group. Now this methyl is on the second carbon atom from the right in that longest chain, so that makes it 2 methyl heptane. In this other example here, I still have 7 carbon atoms as my longest chain, so that makes it hept. It's still an alkane, so heptane. This time I've got two methyl groups, so it's a dimethyl. If I had three, it would be tri. If I had four, it would be tetra. I've got two, so it's dimethyl, and they are at positions two and five. Another example here, I still have seven carbon atoms in my longest chain, so it's still hept. It's still an alkane, so it's heptane. This time I have my second carbon atom from the right-hand side in the longest chain, a methyl group, and this time I have a ethyl group at position 5. It's the ethyl group because it has two carbon atoms. Two carbon atoms tells me that it should start with F. Just to remind you, the YL is added because it is a side group, so 5-ethyl, 2-methyl, heptane. Now as for the way alkanes react, alkanes undergo something called a substitution reaction. A substitution reaction for our purposes in level 2 is when an atom or a group of atoms is replaced, hence substituted, with another atom or group of atoms. Now alkanes are capable of doing this to form something called a halo alkane, and to do that, it's quite slow and it needs UV light. You would also need to add either HX or X2, where X is an element from group 17. Um, over here I've shorthanded it as G17. In an assessment, if you are talking about substitution reactions, make sure you actually write the word group, don't just write G, don't just write X, actually tell the marker that X is one of the elements from group 17, so say F, C, L, B, R, or I. As an example, let's say I started with ethane and I was going to add X2. When I do that, I replace any of those hydrogens, your pit, any of those hydrogens with an X, and to balance it up, I would need HX. Now, if I had gone ahead and chosen a group 17 element for X2, say Cl2, then all that means is that I would just change these X's here to Cl. Don't forget, you must say that you need UV light.